Welcome to a new episode of How To. My name is Armand and today our topic is the discovery of the different tools to clean up a CAD model. If you didn't check it yet, I invite you to watch the episode 1 in which we explain the Meshworks GUI and how to import a model. In this episode 1, you can find more information on where to find the different functions and tools in Meshworks. The philosophy of DEP Meshworks is to be a tool that is saving significant time to the CAE engineers. This is the reason why everything has been developed to facilitate the manipulation, the creation and the modification of your model directly at the EFI level without the need of using a CAD. However, obviously if you prefer to work directly at the CAD level, everything is there in a user-friendly way. For instance, I'm going to show you the main tools to clean up and simplify your CAD model. The CAD cleanup function is a very important tool. There are many options available, but I'll show you just two of them. First, the check option. This option is checking the quality of your CAD model if any issues are there. And then the auto clean button allows to automatically repair the model by creating new clean CAD surfaces. In a general manner, Whatever the quality of your CAD, I advise you to perform the auto-clean operation each time you import a CAD model because sometimes there are issues in your models you don't even know and it may save you time in the future. Secondly, the auto knit tool allows your faces to be closed and stitched automatically when they are close enough directly at the model level. For instance, This can be very useful for CFD meshing to use the tool only one time and not clean up manually surfaces per surfaces. We just quickly saw on how to clean up your CAD model. Now let's see how to simplify it before the meshing operation. To simplify a model, this often involves to defeature some details like the fillet or holes. If we want to do it manually, To be more precise on some fillets, we can use, for instance, the Face Delete and Heal tool. You just have to choose the surfaces which constitutes the whole fillet and click on Heal button like this. You can see the result on this fillet. If you want to get back to the original CAD before the Heal operation, you can click on Reject. Depending on your wish, there is also an automatic tool to do this. This is the defeaturing tool with the fillets option. Choose the surfaces desired to identify all the fillets with the given criteria. All the fillets identified are highlighted to the users. Then you can defeature them. If you got any logo on your model, it is possible also to remove it using this tool. All you need to do is to choose the logo removal option Select all the surfaces on which the logo has been designed and defeature it after the automatic identification. It's the same principle as for the defeaturing fillets option. To remove holes in a sheet body, you can use the tool Remove Free Edges. Two different methods are available in this tool. You can choose either to delete free edges. It allows to delete every kind of holes you are selecting by clicking on the free edges that are defining it even if it's not circular, or you can choose the option Remove Hole. This option allows to identify every circular hole between a range of diameter and automatically remove them. Another useful feature is the Face Cover tool. With the aim of cleaning your CAD before going to the next step meshing, the Face Cover tool is enabling to remove the internal CAD edges. You can find this tool in the CAD Cleanup tool or in the Advanced Surface tool. It is skewing the selected surfaces by deleting the lines between them. This is how the second episode of our series concludes. DP Meshworks is a software developed by CAE engineers for CAE engineers. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to contact us at email at dpeurope.com. We'll be happy to support you to solve your modeling problem as fast as possible. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.